Hi, this is Manash Patel at IMTF Trade. Today is February 24th, and you got a lot of chaos going around the world. A lot of people are asking, where is this market going to stop going down? Where are buying opportunities out there? And this is not just the U.S. stock market. This is across the board from commodities like gold, silver. Uh, then you have crypto coins, everything that's going on. So what we're going to do is we're going to simplify things and keep it easy. We're going to look at the E-mini S&P 500 futures here. And the reason why is, is that this is the product that everyone around the world uses, including institutions to gauge the U.S. stock market. So we're going to do that. We're going to look at this on the weekly so it gives us a long-term projection. Okay. Now, we're going to look at these brackets. These are CIMTF. They're long-term. Okay. So this kind of tells you exactly what's been happening long-term. And this is where a lot of retirement accounts pretty much buy once it starts breaking these brackets here. And the weekly kind of tells you what their whole period is going to be. So here you could see here, November 23, 2020, it broke the brackets. This is where all the buying happened here. This moved up 35% away from the brackets. That's a good return for a lot of retirement accounts. That was a very good sign. Now, this is there at some point uh, after 20 25 percent away from the brackets things tendency to equalize and that's kind of what you're happening now and so the key thing is when is something about to happen the cimtf brackets tell you when things are happening long term but when are they going to reverse when they're going to top out bottom out when are things going to happen this is where we rely on these black bars here. These are called our TMT bars, part of our volatility system here. So here, eventually, we're looking for things to kind of equalize here. So we look for these TMT bars. And what we do is we just take the highs and lows of that TNT. They're major institutional support resistances. So once you surround them, you know something's about to happen after that. Typically, a lot of things happen after on the next bar. If it doesn't, it may consolidate. But here you could see here, we came back to the bottom bracket here. We broke it here. When we broke it here, that told us we had a high probability to go down. If you look up on the weekly perspective, where are the levels it could go down? Here and here. But ideally, you want it to come down to these brackets here. For it to come down to that brackets here, this is a great buying opportunity. I know this is a lot of panic, people panic and stuff like that. But if you look at this here, this is only a 25% correction. I know when things start correcting after 10%, a lot of people panic. But remember, you should be thinking about buying things and also taking advantage of selling things. You could buy puts for the markets and stuff like that where you could bet on the market going down. So when this TNT came out here, right there and right there, when we broke that support here, this is when you should have started thinking that this market's going to go down. Let me get out of a lot of my bullish positions here. It's better to be at zero than to be negative. And let me look at some bearish positions, either to hedge my bullish or to generate extra cash. So you really should have been last week, start thinking bearish and completely and protecting yourself. If you did so, all the movements now are not going to be a problem. Let's go look at this more on a daily basis. And this is the interesting part here. So let me shrink this down to the brackets here. This is where we went above the brackets. So December 3, 2020 is when we started going above the brackets here. And you can see here, we kind of started staying above them over and over and over. The longer you stay above them, the higher the probability this has to go up. And you could see it stayed all the way up here. And then you around here of end of last year, November 3rd, 2021, you started seeing weakness. These brackets moved up. And you started starting seeing weakness because we went below the brackets for the first time after many years. And then we consolidate, consolidate. Notice we never reached our targets at all. Then all of a sudden right here, uh, beginning of this year, we broke below the brackets right there and we went down. And that was the interesting thing here. We had a strategy right there that kick started right there, volatility strategy, took us all the way to the target right there profits were taken. However, 
there was no a black TNT bar here. So this was never going to be long-term live to go down. You always look for that black TNT. Finally, you got one here, right there. And this right here told us, be careful. And this is the warning sign that basically everything is about to start to happen. Surround that TNT here, right there. And boom, you can see we broke it, we held it, and then look what we've done. We started going down here. The moment we held it here and the next bar here we started going down, that was a clear sign that this market was going to be bearish and we're going to sit there and have a high probability to get down to these levels here of 4,000 and so forth. This is not a good sign because now you're living below these brackets. Even though it's not a weekly time frame, you're still below those brackets, which are not good sign at all. Let's look at switch, switch things and let's go to gold. And I want to show you, remember, when does things start? Here, on gold, here. There's no black TNT here on the weekly. Over here, daily, boom. Right there is the key sign that gold was also going to go up. So you could see gold was going to go up right about here. Just like looking at the simple black TNT bars right there, you know that February 16th, halfway through the month, was going to go up. And you could see that was very clear there. Crude oil. Let's look at crude oil. Crude oil has been going up for a while. Well, if you look here, there was crude oil right here. And you could see here, right around December 6th, you had a black TNT. Consolidated and boom, right here, December 20th, was a clear sign that TNT was going to go up. And you could see here from the CIMTF brackets, this gold move really started from the long-term position back in February 1st of 2021. This is when crude oil broke out. And this is where long-term people in retirement accounts, big money, were buying crude oil from this point on. And you can see here, it stayed above the brackets right there. Now let's look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin, clearly right there. There's your TNT brackets right there. That basically designated that we're going to go down. You could see how we broke lower. Look here. We retest that. Still held it. And we're going lower. And you could see that we're going lower to these levels here, which is this TNT. These levels right there. This is the target right there. But in theory, the best place for Bitcoin to go to is this TNT high right there. Because if you notice what I do, when I draw these levels here, this gives us the range there. If you want a more of a direct range here, this is where we're going to go here. Notice we're still back and forth with these brackets. We're at, there's two zones, a bullish zone and bearish zone. We're at the bottom of the bearish zone, which is not a good scenario. And you can see here, Bitcoin had a TNT yesterday and we broke it here and that tells you we're going down to another level here most likely we're going to at least get to about 31,900 and uh, this level right there i'll just move this up and so forth there remember the key thing is not to panic if you panic you're going to be emotional and at that point you're going to make mistakes you're going to make mistakes with your own money and you're going to lose don't do that please Join. <clears throat> if you have any questions, email us. That's all you have to do. Uh, here is our email here. Let me pop that up for you. Right about right there. Email us. You could join our weekly sessions. We have them Sunday night at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And for Europe Asia sessions, we have them Monday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come join us. We give you a, a live weekly update every week. We help you navigate through everything. With our students, we help them navigate through everything uh, so they're not bullish at all. They're prepared for this market to go down, irrelevant of a war being there or something else going on. If you like this video, please like and share this and email us and come and join our team. There's no cost to join our weekly webinars, so come and join it.